G'day everyone, Average Alexis here, hoping you're having a good one. And welcome back to the channel! <laughs> um, so I thought that today I would just let you guys know what I did over my weekend with my few days that I had off. Um, the last video you saw of me was I filmed it at about 11 o'clock at night on Saturday and it's now... 11 past 10 on um, Monday so there's a bit of there's I've had a bit of a, a break um, <laughs> purely and simply because I just I didn't have the time to film and I didn't want I didn't have the time to think about what I was going to film and I didn't want to force myself to upload something that I wasn't going to be happy with so I just thought that I'd you know, let you guys know that I'm back, <laughs> I guess. I'm still, I've still got toy sale going, but I'm down to, at least I've got some days off and that sort of thing at the moment. But when you guys last saw me, I had literally, and I think I said it in the video anyway, I had left the house at 8.30 in the morning and I did not get home on Saturday till about 10.30 at night because I worked from nine till four and then I went straight out to basketball to score some grand finals uh, for first season. So that's where I was Saturday. And then naturally I drove, um, I drove Alex home and his mum was kind enough to get me dinner. So I had dinner at their house and then I went home and Lucy wasn't very impressed with me because she hadn't seen me all day. And I was just, I filmed that thing quickly for you guys and I was just, I was exhausted. I was not feeling my best and as you can probably see, I'm still not feeling my best, but I promised you guys that I would be back as of Tuesday, which is when this video will go up. And I do not intend to break my promises. I try as hard as I can not to. So the thing that I mostly wanted to talk about um, was yesterday, Sunday. I, a few months ago, got scouted uh, for a, not a modeling gig, but I got invited along to this. It's kind of like, it was a competition, sort of, but not really, because the focus wasn't on the competition aspect of it. Um, so this modeling, let's say it was an audition. <laughs> Um, it was basically, you went in, there was a pose class, there was a photo shoot, there was a catwalk class, and then there was the catwalk itself. Um, sorry, the second one was catwalk and confidence. And basically the entire day was all about building up your confidence and making you see that you're beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. And it was one of the best experiences that I have ever, ever had. Um, I made two really great friends. I was the biggest goofball the entire day, but I made two really great friends. Kiara, spelt with a Y, um, if you're watching this, hi Kiara. And Astrid, who said that she'd been doing it for a few years. And she actually, it was really hilarious because when we both um, started talking and that sort of thing, she freaked because she found out that I was turning 23 in a few weeks. She was like, no, you're not. You're a teenager. And I was like... I will take that because literally every time anyone assumes my age, they think I'm in my 30s. So I will take that. Thank you. But Astrid had been doing it the same thing for a few years. And then this year she went all out. She had extra photo shoots done. She did this, 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 and this. She looked absolutely stunning on the night. All the girls looked absolutely stunning. And Astrid ended up coming our uh, first runner up. So Astrid technically ended up coming second. And the look on her face when they announced her, oh, I will never forget it. She was so happy and I was so happy for her. Like, I didn't go for the competition aspect of it. I, modeling is something that I've considered, but it's never something that I've wanted to do full time. Um, the reason I said yes to it was because this country girl management, they're called, the people who were doing it are a, um, are like they cater to four different modeling agencies but they also cater to a casting agencies so for me acting is a big thing that I've always wanted to do and that was what got me to jump on it um, there is still the possibility that I may get to go 
to the Gold Coast for the finals. Um, there's they've got to decide a top twenty for their um, finals or something like that. That'll be in the next two weeks or so. They announce that. I'm not fussed if I don't get it because the experience alone, the experience alone yesterday was one of the best experiences I have ever had. There was still, you know, you could still see the looks from some of the girls of, oh, why are you here, that sort of thing, but nothing was said out loud and it was a mostly positive environment and I had never been around so many girls that were willing to support each other because women tear each other down so much and being in that environment was one of the best experiences ever and the two friends that I made were just the funniest people and everyone there seemed so happy with everything and everyone was really positive and it was just an all-around great experience. I didn't fall over on the catwalk but I had this this thing in my head, so what we had to do was there was different stages to the catwalk. I was in group one and then there was an intermission and then there was group two. And group one, so what you had to do was you pose points, so the poses that they taught you, um, and then a you did your duos or, an, or trios, whatever you chose to do. In my case, I did it with Astrid and Kiara. We came up with this really cute routine, it was adorable. Um, so we did our trio routine and then there was a snake so you went up everyone walked up the catwalk just walked and walked past again and then there was the individual they sprung the individual on us at the end of the catwalk and confidence class they're like oh yeah by the way you have to go home and come up with an individual routine where you stop at three different points in my head compared to all the other girls I just knew that I wasn't getting anything and I didn't care I just wanted to go for the fact that I wanted to go so I came up with the weirdest routine ever. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was so funny. It was... <laughs> so I've walked up and I'm, I'm really upset I don't have it on film because it was like, in my head I've gone, I'm such an idiot for doing this. But also on the other hand, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this regardless of what anyone thinks because stop this. So I've walked up and I've like, right in the middle everyone's cheering and that sort of thing because you were you cheer for everybody else because it was very supportive and all that and i've gone up the front and i'm like my first pose is literally just my hands up and i was like yes this is me <laughs> and then my second pose point was a little snap what <laughs> and then my final one and i will thank astrid for letting me use this idea that she first came up with um, my, my last one was right in front of the camera and I had my hair on the side and I did this full on shake my hair, yes, and then turned around and walked away. I didn't fall over. I had the best fun and I kept putting all this sass into everything and everyone's like, oh my god, where are you getting this sass from? And I was like, I am literally channeling RuPaul's Drag Race right now. This is the only reason I haven't fallen on my ass is because I'm channeling RuPaul's Drag Race. But I just... I had so much fun and I am so, so glad that I didn't film a vi I didn't concern myself with filming a video that day. I just went because I wanted to go and I focused on that for the day and it was one of the best decisions I have made not to do videos for the past few days, purely and simply for the fact that I wanted to focus on that and do a good job at that and now my brain is back on YouTube. Yes, I still have toy sale at work and I still have costumes to wear and everything like that. But I'm back to focusing on videos. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm going to film a tutorial for my look for tomorrow because I was going to do a pirate. But I remembered that one of my other favorite looks to do is a leopard. So I'm debating whether or not I pull the leopard out because um, I haven't done it for a while. Actually, I haven't done it for about two years. That's really weird. Um, but I'm really good at doing a, a leopard <laughs> face anyway, and then I just wear like a leopard print dress and whatnot. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a tutorial for that. If I don't, the other thing I will be doing is a reaction to Fortnite fails. Um, remember, you guys, I really, really love it when you give me suggestions and requests on things to do. Please feel free to give me requests on anything. I will do my best to anything people say. I will do my best to do it for you. Um, 
but I just had so much fun yesterday, Sunday, sorry, it won't be yesterday when you guys see this. I had so much fun and I had such a great time meeting such wonderful, wonderful people. And the fact that country girl management is all about building up confidence and don't put anyone down and that sort of thing. It's really great. It's great. I cannot call, recall <laughs> how many times I said the words yes queen and yes girl and get it girl. I started falling into an American accent the entire time. I was like, when group two was doing their catwalk, we're sitting there cheering for them and I'm like, get it girl. And then I'm like, why am I saying that like that? But no, I just, I had so much fun and I'm so glad that I took the time to just focus on that yesterday rather than worry about filming a video at the same time. And I am kind of a little sad I didn't film my experience as well because I think you guys would have liked to have seen it. But on the other hand, I'm glad that I just did it for myself. If I go again next year, which I might, I will definitely film it next year for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I did on the weekend. Um, sorry for the little freak out on Saturday, but I had had a long day. I needed to go to bed and I just, I had remembered when I got home that I hadn't filmed anything and I was like, I can't do this. It's just, it's too much. And then I spent all day today cleaning the house and playing Fortnite and you know, that sort of thing and just relaxing a little bit. And then I've, it's hit 10, 22 at night and I'm like, no, I need to film. So I filmed this for you guys as to what I did on the weekend. Um, yeah, if I don't do a leopard makeup tutorial tomorrow, I will give you a reaction to funny Fortnite fails. Because <laughs> I've seen a couple and they're really good. <laughs> but that's a wrap for this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Believe in yourself and be you. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!